Yeah, I think the uh, people are sometimes known for their musical accomplishments, but I think the reputation you have is you're just a good guy. Uh, you're a great <laughs> musician, but you're just a good guy. And that's like a great feedback to know that's how you're spoken yeah. of at the age. It's like, he's a good guy. Um, <laughs> it's really sweet. Uh, people that uh, listen to this podcast, for many, faith is a big deal for them. Uh, for others, not so much. They're just like, they just love people and want to have some ambitions they want to go after. Uh, you picked music. You could have been running a small country. Why did you pick music? Um, you know, from a really young age, um, melody and lyrics captivated my heart. I, I don't really know how else to say it. I would sit at home. Uh, at the time, it was, you know, vinyl records and cassette cassette tapes. And I would just listen to all the music that my parents had in the house and I don't know, Bob, it just made me feel something like deep in my heart. I felt emotionally connected and magnetized to music. And um, I found a guitar in my dad's closet when I was around 11, 12 years old. And he knew he he uh, he knew a few chords uh, and taught me a few chords and uh, started playing, writing songs. And that was it, man. It was like a drug. I just got hooked on it. I love the feeling of creating something out of nothing. You know, I would be sitting in my room as a 13, 14 year old kid and I would write this song and I would now it was a terrible song, Bob. These yeah. were horrible songs, but I just would look at it after it's finished and go, that wasn't here just a, a moment ago. And now it's here. And it just, I still feel that way today. I'm still, you know, I'll be 40 uh, in a week and a half. And I still feel this electricity around creating something and in, and especially in the context of church and giving people songs to sing to God is just a beautiful thing to be a part of. Yeah, I think uh, for many of us that have this creation story in mind, that the first thing that God did was create. Um, the uh, thing that he didn't do that we do next oftentimes is compare. So he didn't compare <laughs> what he created. He just created. But we create, then we compare what we created with, you know, my Rubik's cube doesn't have all the colors on the right side. And so instead of celebrating that, we're comparing what you'd made with what somebody else made. And then we use the weirdest um, metrics to figure that out. It's uh, how many likes or claps or whatever. Did you get the standing ovation? Did you get, and who did you uh, get that from? So it's a really complicated cocktail of things. It's like, whose approval are you looking for? what approval matters, how do you receive it? Um, and then how do you receive people's approval if they really like what you do? Can you be self-effacing and say like, no, it just like, but that really is like not validating somebody to say, thank you, man, I received that. If they say like, you're a really great, whatever. They say, man, I received that, but I my the way I receive it is I'm aspiring to be the person you just said, I think I've arrived at, and I'm not there. <laughs> if so you knew how screwed up I uh, was, you wouldn't be saying that about me, because I'm yeah. certainly not thinking that about me. But at the same time, to receive people's <clears throat> acknowledgement that God did something really neat. And um, so how do you uh, modulate that for yourself as people are like, they connect with their music, and you want to just like, deflect, but at the same time, you also want to honor what somebody said, like, wow, I'm glad that meant a lot to you. Yeah. Well, are you telling me, Bob, that I won't grow out of that, that that's just a part of, that's just a part of life, huh? Perhaps. I'm only <laughs> yeah. 64, so. <laughs> yeah. I, uh, no, I, I relate to so much of what you're saying, and I feel all the pull and the tension of everything you just said. Um, you know, I think for me, it helps just to say thank you and to look at somebody in the eye and with as much kindness and honesty as I can say, thank you so much for saying that. Um, yeah. and, and, you know, it, it's good for me too. I've learned just to be honest about that tension that you just talked about and to have a few people in my life. I do this often, um, before I walk out on stage sometimes, or even if I'm going to write songs with somebody, I'll text a couple of friends and say, I'm, I'm feeling that tension, that pull, that comparison, or I want to be uh, more like this person, or I hope I do a good job. Um, and just to be honest about all of that stuff helps, helps to deflate it 